yourself, saving yourself? Is this something you can integrate? How would you integrate this into tonight? But I've just talked about how, how would you do that? I got so many interrupts yesterday, mm -hmm. and I tried to cut them and start a new opener. Yeah. But I didn't. I didn't do the neck. Yeah. Or the disqualif uh, uh, false disqualifier. Fair. I should have done that. If you so, did, if you did it loud enough, yeah. you know, a a uh, a rifle neg. Yeah. It's like where it's one neg. Sniper like neg. A sniper neg, yeah. right? Is where you whisper in her ear, you know, you. Uh, so you're gonna do a shotgun neg. Yeah, you have something uh, glowing in your ear, right? It's like the black light is glowing something in your ear. Or if you go like this. Do a drug dump. Another one? <laughs> and then, so it's it's a sniper neck, right? It's like a rifle, it's a single bullet for her, right? It's not just to lower, well, it's to lower her self-esteem a little bit. And that's not generally what I'm out to do, is lower self-esteem. The neck is supposed to build comfort. But in the interrupt, right. it's the shotgun neck we use, right? That's exactly it. So that's that's the, the uh, sniper neck. But in order to disarm the obstacles, you shoot a, sn uh, sorry, a shotgun neck, which is loud enough so that the other people know that you're not after her. I'll give you 200 bucks to get rid of her for me. She's pooping words. How do you roll with this woman? She keeps interrupting, right? Or you talk a lot. That's a nice one to say. She talks a lot, even if she hasn't said a word. She may go, her first word will be, oh, I haven't said a word, <laughs> right? But what it does is it makes the, the interrupt, the obstacle that comes in, know that you're not specifically after them. I mean, how could you be if you're throwing an egg? Right? And that comfort is established. You're like, oh, okay. It's not, you know, this guy isn't sliming or... Helps. Would you say that's necessary if there's, like, guys in the group? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Boyfriend comes in. What if I'm talking to a girl all by herself, right? And, I, and I'm having a, a, a chit-chat and the boyfriend comes in. Now the boyfriend's gonna presume, because I'm a man, that I'm talking to her because I'm single, right? So a lot of guys, they go, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know she had a boyfriend. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, right? And he's like, okay, nice, <laughs> go away. And you, you know, and you fly away like you've been swatted away like a fucking fly, like a tsetse fly. As opposed to saying, introduce me to your friend. That's a polite thing to do, right? There's no off button on her. See, by saying there's no off button on her, he thinks she's the one doing the talking. Right? Introduce me to your friend. That's a polite thing to do. There's no off button on her. Mystery. Pleasure. Have you ever been to the Hollywood side? So, it's a new routine, right? But from his perspective, that could have been what we were just talking about. Right? Then I can go, you know, once he's disarmed and a part of it, I'm taking over the, the conversation again. And the Hollywood sign is about me walking up, touching the Hollywood sign with my girlfriend at the time in Hollywood. And if you're going to rate a woman from 1 to 10, which I'd never do, she's off the fucking charts. She's a gorgeous girl. She's in movies that you've seen, right? So how am I hitting on her if I'm talking about a girlfriend of mine in front of her? He's disarmed. So I've handled the interrupt, right? And what if they're married? How long have you been married? Seven years. Well, can you finish each other's sentences? See, I've got a, a routine for that as well. See, I dated a girl named Patricia. Uh, I told you about a lovely Romanian exotic dancer, right? This up in Toronto this years ago. She was a twin. And, and she claimed that she had psychic powers because she could finish her twin sister's sentences and they had this psychic connection. My take is, it's the mom's fault. They wore the same clothes, they dressed the same as kids, like I saw pictures, right? The two girls, little girls, seven years old, their they're little pigtails are dressed exactly the same everywhere they go. You know what I mean? Is that psychic connection? I'm not hitting on people, right? Every like in this place here, if you're walking up to a group, well, what happened to you, uh, Sebastian, when you went into a set and they presumed that you were going to choose one? How did that go down? 
<coughs> well, <coughs> I just said, I switched over and said, he's here. That um, I'm just uh, making my rounds and I want to say hi to everybody. And, uh, and uh, the one guy said, that's my girlfriend. Like, so don't, don't, don't get her. And I said, well, lovely to meet you. You two look great together. And uh, he smiled and we hit it off and uh, got their number and everything. <laughs> See? Yeah, it's actually it's great. Like, false disqualifying myself all the time. I did that two times and that said in like one minute. So, yeah, it was good. And he was the interrupt came in and he just said, oh, yeah. It's nice to have that little neg though, because you had two of the three steps. Yeah. Right? That middle one is neg the target. Right? Because it disqualifies the uh, it, it, it disqualifies you for being considered a potential suitor to the obstacles. Right? It disarms the obstacles or the friends. It builds comfort. That's what next do. That's that's the point of it. It isn't to make a person feel small. It isn't to lower self-esteem. That's 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 a you know a sniper neck. We'll lower them a little bit. Especially if she's a very attractive young lady and you you know you do this. <laughs> I continue, but you do it like you know, you're in a conversation. Yeah, yeah. It, it, there's an art to it to make it appeal. But also, uh, appeal, yeah, appeal. Uh, you make it comfortable. All it's doing is make, putting her off her, off her game. Uh, Here she is. She's a ten. She's a beautiful girl. And now she thinks she has a booty. <laughs> so from that point forward, when you talk, she's going to think, how long was that there for? Like, how long? Another thing you could do is, uh, if you know Styles Lint Neg, right? You take a little piece of lint from your pocket. Lint, it's a little uh, piece of fluff in your pocket, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And if you have that in your pocket, you can simply point it over here. Uh, <laughs> put it in your hand, it's done. Right? Yeah. And what that does is it makes her think, how long was that there for? Right? Now she feels a little off her game. That's what a sniper neg is. But generally we're going to be using shotgun negs because the result of the neg is laughter. The result of the neg is comfort. Oh, okay, he's not hitting on them. Right? And then, of course, if, it's, if you find out they're married, if you find out that this is a legitimate couple, it's like, oh, that's my girlfriend. Oh, when are you getting married? That's my response to that. Oh, I thought you were you guys were engaged. And she's, I'm not engaged. <laughs> oh, you're smooth. Look at he comes in, he's like, oh, she's mine, she's mine. Oh, okay, I see how you work. That's smooth, that's good. Can I use that? It blows them out, right? How long have you two known each other? Oh, you met three days ago. Oh, you're smooth. I thought you were engaged. I'm not engaged. Okay, all right. <laughs> right? So you blow them up. And then stack four. So there we have it. Those are the internal and external interrupts. Get ready for them. They're happening tonight. You're going to get the internal ones. You just snip and stack. Snip and stack. Keep them involved. Snip and stack. Snip your material, stack to the new material, because you're just boring somebody. You don't want to get that peel. External ones, they're going to happen. They've been happening here. They happened last night. They're going to happen tonight. You have to be fast. How fast? Uh, well, now, now I'm slowing it all down, but that fast. Boom. <laughs> Sorry for breaking your leg. <laughs> they, it's that fast. It's coming at you. Yeah. you got to be ready to handle it. Right? Three-step process. Pause your material. Right? Acknowledge that person entering in. Don't ignore it. Some guys ignore it. You know, the person just sort of comes in quietly. No, no, no. Don't ignore it. Two set, turn to a three set. Pause. Handle the interrupt. <coughs> Throw the neg to dis uh, disqualify yourself from being a potential suitor. Disarming the obstacle because of the comfort being built that you're not after her. And then three, stack to a new material, including them, to hold the, the, the control still. After that, go back to the previously uh, half uh, run thread. Or let them take over now. Right? Everyone gets a turn and there's going to be some, some uh, equal uh, 
uh, conversational ratio. It's not always going to be you. You're going to allow others to speak to, including that person. But at least they know you're not creeping people out. Okay? I see the girl I want to talk to. I use my opener and I ask a qualifying question. I perform an IBD instant value demonstration in this form. Magic. Showboating, as I saw a crowd forming and a cameraman. I entered a group not to get blown out. I noticed I get IOIs from her friend. The external interrupt comes in. So I handle the interrupt by engaging the interrupt with high energy. This gets the attention back to me so I can run my material. Friend leans in, touches her friend and whispers about me, then plays with her hair and flicks it towards me, which is an indicator IOI. She reciprocates with a dance wiggle and now they're all smiling. I IVD again for her benefit as she missed it the first time. The whole group are into me now, so I bump up the buying temperature by spinning her. I turn my back to fractionate and she sees her friend and ejects. Good, the interrupt leaves the set. I can carry on now. The waitress walks by and you can see me game her on another video. I gamed her the same night. It will be an essential shorts series, season one. Now a Kino compliance test. Touch, kinesthetic.
Now the third friend has interest, IOI. She's indicating interest towards me. Double Kino for more rapport. The girl from the start of the set is looking over now, as you can see. And she has even more attraction and interest because of a jealousy plotline as I'm closing the number in front of her. All the three girls have attention in what I'm doing, including the first girl I spoke to. I close both in the end, but the camera goes off beforehand. The third girl even interrupts the set because I'm getting numbers and she has jealousy. Mystery and I are doing Project Vegas boot camp, first to third of March. If you'd like a place, please let me know immediately. There may even be a space to live in if you're quick. Also, for the next seven days, we are letting you have our Evening with Mystery and Baxter golden ticket event that we did to start off our tour, our seven year tour that we had. So if you'd like that, at the moment, it's £37, normally £99. So get it while you can, only to the first 100 people. And have an epic Valentine's. I've been your friendly neighbourhood pickup artist, Bexter. Check out the Bexer lifestyle for all your needs. Take care, guys. Ciao. Bye.